Alright, welcome back. I have finally leveled up to level 12. And that means I have unlocked the next tier vehicles. Now, tier 7 has currently 3 platoons. It has the M60A1, has the Leopard A1A1 and it has the T55A. And I believe there are some uh, more vehicles in the works that will be released perhaps even perhaps even the the tier 8 will be added next month but for the leopard and for the T55 you have to get to level 13 but for the M60A1 you have to have only level 12 which is fine it is very fast to level up to 13 once you obtain this tank. So let's take a look at the stats of this of this tank. So it has a 105mm main cannon, top speed 48 km per hour, reverse 8 km per hour, specific power 16 horsepower per ton. It has 48 tons, 4 crew member, Average penetration 258mm, reload 6.7 seconds, turret rotation speed 23 degrees per second. It has phenomenal frontal protection. Now, this tank does have a very big weak spot. Not actually, not, not exactly a weak spot, but high caliber AP shells tend to do a lot of let's say secondary damage when they pant it and that is that turret on top of the big turret kind of kind of funny that this tank has a turret on top of a turret but when you get hit in the mini turret on top basically the commander's hatch if you're hit by something like a pds or a pcr it will basically do no damage it will go through maybe kill the commander but it is not going to disable the tank. But if you are hit by something like... something very similar to what the... I, uh, uh, to what the T10A has, a high caliber 122 or 120mm cannon that is using APBC or APHE, these shells can basically bounce fr from the interior of the turrets and go straight towards the crew. So some shells, if they hit that spot of the vehicle, uh, will disable the vehicle basically in one hit. And it's quite a big, uh, quite a big weak spot, technically quite a big weak spot, it's not that difficult to miss. So that's just one thing that you have to keep in mind while while driving uh, this tank, but overall pretty good, pretty fun to drive, and overall I had quite a lot of fun driving. Now the side armor is of course not that much, and the rear armor is also quite vulnerable, even the turrets. The turret sides and the rear are are very poorly protected, which is to be expected, since uh, it is after all a medium tank and you have to rely on the frontal armor for the, for the best protection. So, uh, with that being said, well, I guess it will be time to see what this tank can do in combat. Alright, it looks like the first map for today will be the new one. New tank on a new map. Perfect. Now, this tank can be a very good sniper. It also can be used in close range combat. It works really well in both situations. Now... When you angle the when you angle the tank, you can bounce a lot of shells, but the main weak spots would remain the commander's cupola, the machine gun turret. So in most cases you want to try to have that part of the tank protected as much as possible. Now in this position you can snipe the enemy tanks that are that are coming in to capture the base, but you have to be careful. Missiles, ATGMs, large 
HE shells can easily disable the tank, so basically peek around the corner and shoot. And well, I missed my... Uh, I missed that third shot, I hit the wall instead of the tank, so... I didn't destroy the T-54, but they did hit me. Now the T-54 can penetrate the frontal turrets uh, with the APDS ammo, and the reason why uh, I am still alive is because the APDS shells kind of kind of over penetrate when they when they hit a uh, a weak spot, and that's basically what saved my tank. But I managed to disable both T-54s. Both have been destroyed in practically one hit. This tank, this turret. Uh, this main gun has no issues at penetrating the T-55 or the T-54, which uh, have been classified as the the most dangerous medium tanks in the game. Now that's yeah, that bomber is way too fast for me. I'll just uh, yeet the bomber in the in the ground so that I can evade the bombs if they launch bombs at me. That's yeah, that bomber. I think they were attempting to drop bombs on me, but kind of uh, gave up on that, so perhaps I got lucky. Now, you have to make sure that you don't really show the the side armor, so when you peek around the corner, make sure that the enemy tank can only see the frontal sloped armor and the turret since you don't want to get hit in the in the side armor basically that would be quite dangerous most of the tanks can easily penetrate the side armor on this on this tank so the weaker armor should be covered behind rocks in this case we have a T10A which does get destroyed quite easily the T10A has ammo basically placed on the on the frontal on the frontal plates from the inside. So if you manage to put the shell a little bit on an ang or to the to a to a angle, you can easily ammo rack the the T10A. But of course, the shell has to has to pat it first. So yeah, that's one thing to consider. Now the M103 can technically uh, destroy this tank if they hit the weak spot, but I can also des destroy them since their ammo is located quite close to the driver on the lower plate, that's where you have to shoot the M103. It's quite, b it's been a very easy a very easy round so far with the M60A1. Now large caliber, large caliber HE shells may have a chance to overpressure the tank if they uh, if they manage to hit your commander's hatch. So you should be careful around tanks that have high caliber main main weapons because they can do a lot of damage if they if they pet it and that was a very low pass a low pass with 640 km per hour that was kind of that's kind of scary my pilot skills have definitely improved over time i really like this aircraft it is i think this might be my favorite aircraft at the moment it is such a fast such a fast jet and i i managed to touch the ground with 730 kilometer per hour and without crashing the vehicle without crashing the aircraft kind of funny and okay time ran out I have destroyed seven tanks I like how they added these new uh, I guess metals basically does tell you what's happening around the what's happening on the in the match that's a very tough driver on the T-54. They stopped the, the 105 APDS shell without a problem. 
No, so far it's been a very good match, honestly. And I think we are about to win. But am I going to be am I going to manage to get one more kill? Let's see. I did put a couple good shots in the bomber. In the not bomber, that's a that's a mesh yeah, that's a message mix. And victory. Nice. That was a pretty good match. That was a pretty good match, a fun one as well. Very smooth. And that was a good victory. 8 kills and 2 aircraft kills. Total of 10 kills in that match. Alright, let's go to the next one. T10A. They are near the base. Let me see if I can get some capture points here. Oh, what is this? What is it? E54 doing there? Let me see if I can... Yeah, nice, nice shot at the side armor. Ammunition exploded, perfect. Although I'm not really sure where the ammo was stored there, but... But the game says ammunition destroyed, so I guess that's what happened. This tank isn't the fastest medium tank in this tier. It's definitely, I would say, the sl the, the on the slower side, but... It has a very good gun, uh, has some decent mobility. And the reverse speed is not not too bad. Could be worse. I mean there there are some tanks that basically have no re reverse speed, like two km per hour reverse, which is painful. About five km per hour reverse is somewhat acceptable, eight km per hour is pretty good. And overall uh, the tank doesn't feel doesn't feel too clunky, doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't really feel odd in any shape way in a, in any way, shape or form. Been a pretty pleasant experience driving it so far. Will be interesting will be interesting to see how it compares with the T55 and T62, which are the next they're the next tanks that I'll be that I'll be getting, but so far the M60A1 has been performing really well. I haven't really encountered a lot of problems with it. It, it is very playable, uh, which is very important. It is not like the M47 or, or with the Leopard. The Leopard actually is pretty good. Uh, a difficult tank to drive for sure, but once you understand how it works, it is a very very pleasant vehicle to drive around. And the M60 is also... Um, it, it does feel like a T-54, but a T-54 kind of is outclassed by, by by the M60. I mean, it does break the, the armor on a T-54 very easily. Just It just goes in without a problem. The T-54 the can have issues penetrating the frontal armor if if it is angled. So angling is very important if you are if you're driving this thing. However, ATGMs, missiles, rockets and large caliber HE shells can theoretically be problematic. Now that's a that's a Bradley. They have some. They have some very nasty missiles, by the way. So have to be careful with what I'm doing here. I think one high explosive shell should be. Well, actually, not high explosive. I have hash. Although the the penetration of of, of this hash is not really the best. I basically just use it as classic high explosive. It's a. It's it's still hash, but. But I personally use it as as high explosive for various reasons. It can technically penetrate, but I, it is just preferred to use the the APDS. And of course, I ate a missile from the side. That's a very that's a 
rocket, let's say a uh, medium tank with a rocket launcher attached to it. Very interesting vehicle that I, I have to drive. I'll get to it. Don't worry, I'll get to it. Kind of got stuck there. The controls decided not to work, so I couldn't really move, which is kind of funny. But but you know, I had uh, the second, I guess, the tank replacement, I guess, and can continue driving it. Can continue playing this this round. Okay, that's kill number seven. And we are winning, although the match is far from over. We have no, we have no zones captured, which is kind of funny because I'm not really sure what my team is doing here. But I think I'll manage to capture zone A. This ta this tank is very fun to drive. I, I first thought that it has an autoloader, but. Uh, it doesn't have an outloader. I think the, the T55 or T62 have an outloader. I have to check that out. One, one of these two tanks definitely has an outloader. Which is good and bad. Uh, good because fast reload, bad because your turret will fly very high in the air if, if you get hit. And it was a victory. A very sweet victory as well. 1499 points, 8 kills and one zone captured. Pretty good. Next, let's go and get some more battles here. Alright, well I, gu I guess I have the, the icy map now. This tank in this position can be useful. If you can cover the lower plates, definitely uh, a very interesting position, but the Commander's Hatch, the Cupola, will basically be exposed, so I would still recommend that you try to shoot from cover and basically peek around the corner to shoot and base it and uh, go back to cover when, when a tank is destroyed, when the enemy tank is destroyed. And this position is really good for that purpose as well. Okay, well, uh, two, two kills, I believe. Someone has destroyed those tanks that you can actually shoot through until they are destroyed, of course. Now, I'm trying to position myself in such a way that I can maintain my best armor up front, angled, of course, angled and well protected. Alright, nice. The T-54 has been destroyed. The shell went in the tank and basically went all the way through the tank and hit the engine. That's just how much penetrating power this, this has. APDS ammo might be my favorite ammo after APHE. APHE basically just has to penetrate and the tank just dies. APDS has some very nice uh, penetration and does do some very good damage when you when you hit a heavily armored target. Basically, that's how it was designed to, to work. APHE doesn't have that much penetration, but it explodes when it penetrates, which does deal secondary damage when it goes in. So that's the advantage of APHE, and of course advantage of APDS is its velocity and overall the amount of armor that you can penetrate with it. You can penetrate a lot of armor, so that's why that's why it's very important to have APDS in high tier games. Tanks with APDS as default have literally no problem with high tier games. They have no problem with with the same tier as well. Which isn't really the case with all the vehicles. Some vehicles don't have this ammo available and they are kind of more difficult to be used by default just because of the different ammo. Now this is the same tank that I have and when you hit the commander with AP uh, with APDS ammo as you can see it doesn't do any secondary damage, it basically over penetrates, but 
when you are shooting the same spot with a different ammo type, it can be a different story. However, I can easily penetrate the frontal armor of this tank. So, couple hits and they will be destroyed. Surprisingly, there's well that they were alive until the tank burned down. So. These tanks can be quite tough to kill. They are quite tanky. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly. Although I I'm not really trusting their armor as much as I trust the rock. And that's a T55. Easily able to penetrate the frontal armor of the T55. And that did some very good damage. T10A hit in the turret, destroyed the gun and injured the crew members. We can also penetrate the front turret of the T10A quite easily, although that's uh, that was a bad shot. My my aim slipped to the side and that bounced. Unfortunately, could have killed the T10A as well, but I can kill the T55, which is a mo important target, a more important target. The, t the T55 has a very good gun, but the overall armor around the same as the T54. Very little. Minor upgrade over the T-54, but still it's a pretty good tank, so... I'll be driving it, of course, when I am rank 13, which I'm working to, working towards. And this position is really good as well on this map when you have this game mode this position near those pipes is really good for this tank all right let's go forwards i actually think that this tank has basically like no armor on the back since you can see the the exhaust for the, for the engine i don't really think that it has any armor on the back since the engine is basically hanging around around that part of the tank this is overall a very interesting vehicle i, I like it Kinda unique. Very happy with the main gun though, the main gun is just amazing on this on this tank. Okay, that was a object. I hit the transmission and I set it on fire, but someone else got a kill. And now I am capturing the base. Slowly capturing the base. But I think, yeah, I think the match is kind of already, kind of already over, since our team is slowly progressing toward. I mean, our team is li literally in the spawn point of the enemy team, so they are not going to be able to do much at this at this point. And the enemy team has lost all the vehicles. Yeah, this is a pretty much good victory. That was fun. First place, 1,322 points and 6 kills. I'll take it. Pretty good. No complaints for me on, on, that, on that part. I, I think I did pretty well. Definitely a, a much, much more playable tank than the previous starters. A very good tank to to basically start the the platoon with and well it looks like we also we have received the same map but a different game mode all right fair enough basically capture the base or destroy all enemy vehicles now I'll go here this is my old spot that, that I used to go to and we have one tank over there and there is a M60 very close. Yeah, they're basically behind the rocks. T54. Unfortunately, I missed the ammo. And then my gunner got killed and the turret engine got busted. Alright, I'll just repair the tank for a second. Now, that is a T55 or a T62. I'm not really sure which one of these tanks. Either a T55A or a T62. 
I can penetrate the frontal armor on both, so it shouldn't be a big problem. I know the turret on the T62 is really good, but the T55 I can penetrate easily. Okay, it, it is a T55A, the premium one, and that's the first that's first shot. It it hit the ammo, but it didn't destroy the tank, and the fuel tank was also hit. Basically, the fuel tank absorbed most of the shell. In reality, that tank should have been destroyed since I hit the ammo. And ammo close to fuel tank is just asking for a de detonation, although in this case it didn't happen. Now I am already in position and I'm waiting for them to peek out. Nice shot at the side, straight in the ammo. T55A has been destroyed. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I set the uh, artillery to work. And there's a bomb between five tanks. That's going to be a triple kill. Actually, yeah, triple kill, double kill. I'm glad I wasn't close to those tanks. They got stuck. I'm changing positions since my presence is required close to the base. We have to capture the base if you want to attempt to win the match. T-54 destroyed. Ammunition exploded. There's a M60 there. They hit my track. Which means that bought some time for my teammate to hopefully disable the enemy tank. I'm going to be here repairing the tracks and waiting for Thanks to to show up, I guess. It seems like my engine is also damaged, which is weird. Probably from the first hit. T10A shot at the side, ammunition destroyed. Okay, I think it is safe to go forwards. T62 destroyed. Object on the side, destroyed. And we have captured the base. Now we have the upper hand. Nice. T10A at the side. I did manage to put one shell in the lower plate, but unfortunately it missed the ammo. And the T10A survived. Another object, good hit. The tank is on fire, but survived. Let me change it to hash or high explosive should be able to destroy in one hit since that's what hash does there we go nice it worked okay back to APDS and now I'll be I think I will change my position so that I can cover our flanks there are some tanks in the middle of the map there and there is one tank close to our base. T10A hit at the sides. Ammunition didn't detonate, unfortunately. Although it, it should have detonated, but it didn't, so yeah. I'm going to go back. There is one tank close to the base. Not really sure if. Not really sure what tank it is, but I have to. I have to disable it, basically. They are in the base, which can be problematic. And of course, have to be careful not to get flanked. Oh, there it is, a T10A. There we go. Right in the ammo. Now I'll go back and keep protecti protecting the base. The enemy tanks seem to be crawling all over the place. I had to go back and destroy that tank, they were basically in our spawn point, which means I might miss some of the action here, but that's fine. Teamwork is what matters the most in the end. Okay, T-54 destroyed, ammunition exploded. There is also one more tank coming in, T-10A. 
I missed the lower plate, which means they survived. They didn't survive the second hit though. Ammunition exploded. And I think, yeah, the, the enemy team is losing all the points and... Looks like this is going to be a victory. Well, pretty good one. A pretty good victory. Well, that was, that was fantastic teamwork. And overall, a really good... Really good start and a very good end. So this is the M60A1 AOS. Uh, overall, a very interesting vehicle. Very easy to drive. It's very fun to drive as well. Uh, very good ammo, very good overall mobility. Armor is also pretty decent. The main gun is fantastic. So, in general, this is a very good tank. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.